Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Ray Diaz, one of the TAs for Computer Science E1. Welcome to our video of the week. In previous videos, we've talked to you about XHTML and CSS and made tangential reference to certain standards or rules for uh, creating web content. But well, we'd like to talk to you today more specifically about web standards and complying to those standards, what those standards are, and why it's important that folks should want to comply with them. Web standards refers to a set of specifications that governs certain aspects of web development. For example, there are standards for HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, uh, the language that uh, by far these days most websites are written with. XML, or Extensible Markup Language, a uh, rule for a similar markup language, although uh, more complicated. XHTML, which is the application of HTML using rules, stricter rules of XML. Um, cascading Style Sheets, or CSS, uh, which govern the presentation of websites. ECMA script, or uh, standardized JavaScript, which uh, helps make certain websites more dynamic by adding a little bit of programming functionality there. And the Document Object Model, which helps to describe the structure of HTML, XHTML, and XML documents. So it's fine to know that there are several standards out there for uh, aspects of web development, but why do we care? Why do we need to follow them? And how does it benefit us? So one of the most straightforward reasons for adhering to web standards is that it reduces the amount of errors that could happen when a user browses your site. If you comply to the rules of uh, well-formedness and validity with XHTML, for example, uh, your site will render properly on most any browser available for download on the web. This goes hand in hand with our second point, making your website appear uh, mostly the same uh, across all browsers. If you've ever used, for example, Internet Explorer or Firefox or Safari, you'll notice that most sites don't quite look the same uh, when rendered with each browser. But adhering to uh, web standards, again with well-formedness, validity, and so on, uh, you're more likely to provide users with a more consistent experience across browsers and platforms. In one of our previous videos, we talked a little bit about screen readers for the visually impaired. Well, having uh, standards compliant code behind your web pages really helps them to see the content of your web pages and deliver it to uh, their users. This is particularly important if uh, you want to create a website for, say, a healthcare organization or perhaps a local government department where uh, adhering strictly to the Americans with Disabilities Act is very important to you. Another really good reason for complying with standards is that it makes it easier to transfer your documents from one format to another. If you wanted to transform something from XML to PDF, for example, you'll do so more accurately than with good code than with something that's not quite standards compliant. Standards compliant code is also more easily handled by server-side and client-side software. On the client side, it's important that browsers be able to see your stuff consistently. This is particularly important for you as a web developer because you can't control what's on everybody's desktop out there in the internet land. So if somebody happens to have an old browser, for example, that doesn't know what to do with cascading style sheets, by having well-structured and uh, standards compliant code, that old browser will still be able to see your content and render it it might not look exactly the same as you'd intended with all the colors and features and so on, but it won't look like a jumble either. So for example, if we take a look at the website CSS Sun Garden, which is fantastic and we highly recommend it, using a modern standards compliant browser like Firefox 2, you can see here in this screenshot the background images come through, uh, the uh, 
font stylings come through just fine. But uh, because this site is well written and standards compliant, if we use an older browser like Netscape 4.7, you can see here in this screenshot, we've lost a lot of the um, presentation, but we're also not seeing a lot of junk either. The text is clear. It's still formatted in a way that makes sense. And the layout of the text itself is not haphazard. To read up some more about web standards yourself, we invite you to go to the web and check out the World Wide Web Consortium site or www.w3.org or the Web Standards Project website at uh, webstandards.org. Thank you for watching our video of the week. Standards compliant code is also more easily handled. Handled. <laughs> Standards compliant code is also more easily handled both by server side and client side soft. Uh, yeah, software. That's the word. Finally, standards compliant code is just more easily handled by both uh, server. Finally. <clears throat> uh,